Hey, it's Andrew Huang. Today we're talking about Planck. What's Planck? Planck is a Eurorack module that excels at physical modeling synthesis. What's physical modeling synthesis? So what Planck does is mathematically model the sonic behavior of what it calls exciters and objects. If you've got an object, like a drum, it's not just gonna make sound on its own. You need to excite it. And using different things as exciters will produce different sounds. Also, obviously, using different objects will produce different sounds. Planck lets you tweak all kinds of parameters of both your synthesized exciter and your synthesized object, meaning from this one tiny module you can get kick drums, snare drums, hand drums, cymbals, bells, stringy things, alien bloops. You have dedicated knob and CV control for pitch and decay, and you can also choose any three other parameters to modulate via the assignable X, Y, and mod inputs, which also each have attenuators. One of my favorite things to assign the mod input to is randomization. Every time you hit it with a trigger, it will randomize all the parameters, essentially inventing a new percussion instrument instantaneously. So here's a fun thing I've set up. I've got one pad from Tetrapad triggering Plonk, but it's also triggering it to randomize. So each time I press it, it's giving us a new sound. I also have the audio running through the stereo triggered sampler from 4MS. And if I take this same trigger, I'm using this IntelliGel hub to uh, molt the trigger out so that it is triggering Plonk as well as the randomization. And now the recording of a new sample. So I can just press this. That was a weird sound. And then uh, hit stop recording, and then it's saving all of these samples onto this SD card. And it's basically the fastest way ever to create a sample pack. I just made five new samples. It's so like one touch sound design. Also this yellow cable, this is taking the position information from the pad and sending it to control Planck's pitch. So if I decide to move my finger while recording a sound, it'll change the pitch. And it'll only work with sounds that have a longer decay time, but it's kind of a fun thing to play with. So I am working towards a large sample pack that is entirely created with my modular system, but that won't be out quite yet. I wanna collect sounds from a whole bunch of different modules, and even with a process like this set up, I'm still gonna to have to rename the files and edit them all for volume and remove any that aren't good or that sound too similar, but I will let you know when it's ready. Why don't we go ahead now and make some more Plonk music? <laughs> So, what a fantastic module. Gotta give a huge shout out to IntelliGel for sending it my way, as well as a few other bits and bobs. Tetrapad, which you saw me performing the Planck melody with. Really cool pressure sensitive pads with tons of different modes to give you different kinds of hands-on control of a modular system. And I didn't use it today, but they've got this new pedal IO for their 1U row, which is just a nice and easy way to get an effect send into your modular if you're working with non-modular effects like guitar pedals. They just make great stuff. I want all their modules. As usual, all the music from today's video is exclusively available available to my patrons until whenever I pull it together onto a proper album release. But on Patreon, you get all my music as I make it. More info at the link. Thanks for watching. I hope you're subscribed. Let me know if you have any questions about what's going on here, and I'll see you next time.